Hello, my people. Lady Rousey here. How y'all doing? To all my new subscribers, you're welcome. And my returning subscribers, you all know I love you. On this channel, we do support Harry and Meghan, and we do expose the racist treatment of Meghan Markle by the English monarchy. So y'all welcome. And we do also talk about politics. You know, we will talk about the United States politics because, you know, that's our country. And uh, we got to mind the politics. You know why? Because if you do not mind the politics, you do not do politics. Politics is going to do you. So y'all, remember, now we're going to vote for Kamala Harris. Now, no way she's going to become president of the United States of America. Lots of things are going to be taken care of. Nobody's going to tell us that we can't have no babies through in vitro anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, we're getting older. So we need all those health care here when we're going to control our own uterus and control whichever procedure we want to do on our bodies. And when, when we want to divorce, like I did a few minutes ago. Y'all know I just divorced a few minutes ago. You know my mouth. So... Yeah, we need our rights to anything we want to do. Nobody has the right to tell us when we're having some issues with the fetus in our belly. We cannot uh, uh, go to the doctors to proceed with anything. Women, it's time to wake up all of you all around here. So guys, I was watching all the random people around here. I found uh, my boy, uh, Murali Morelli. I uh, want you guys to listen to him, what he's saying about uh, uh, Prince Harry's interview. And uh, he said he did not want to bring his wife or children to his country, the United Kingdom, because of everything that happened to M Meghan in that country. I mean, people, let's be sincere. Did you all guys watch how the sister was treated? Did you all watch those years how she was treated? dilapidated in the media by these racist derangers lunatics with terrible heart hating somebody because of the color of their skin thinking because you are a black woman you do not deserve a prince of england that's just wrong so therefore y'all guys remember we're gonna all vote blue we're not playing here and we're gonna follow this politics we're gonna post everything politics our politics around here because i do tell you a politician can write something there and turn it into a bill and change your life they can control your economy around here they can control how much the money is being given to you for, through the pell grant the subsidized unsubsidized loan sally may all those have to pass through them so those people we're gonna mind them and right now it's time all of y'all guys open your eyes we're gonna go blue so let's listen to Murad morelli documentary has been released thursday evening in regards to everything going on with you know the tabloids and taking them to the courts and not just harry but other people but of course he does address his wife as well all of this will stop if i'm not here i remember her telling me that that she had wanted to take her own life Prince Harry has said it's still dangerous for his wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, to return to the UK. In the Duke of Sussex's first major interview since the conclusion of his court case against Mirror Group newspaper, he said he feared an attack on his wife if she returned to the UK due to the attention the royal couple attract. When asked, Harry said, there is more than enough attention on me and my wife. Anyways, they pushed me way too far. It's still dangerous. And all it takes is one lone actor, one person who reads this stuff to act on what they have read and whether it's a knife or acid, whatever it is. And these are things that are of genuine concern of me. It's one of the reasons why I will not bring my wife back to this country. Wow. Harry also blamed his fight against the press as central in destroying his relationship with his family. When asked his about his family's choice, the press is the way that Harry has, he said. I think everything that's played out has shown people what the truth of the matter is. For me, the mission continues. Harry said, I wish we had many conversations before she passed. And this is very much something that she supported in regards to, you know, Queen Elizabeth. Interesting. She knew how much this meant to me. She's very much out there, going to see this through to the end without question. In a witness statement, he had claimed the late monarch had wanted the media mogul Rupert to apologize. Harry has bringing a case against M MGN over alleged un unlawful information gathering. So this is interesting. Um, as a trial found that 15 articles were the result of unlawful information gathering. And Pierce Morgan and his hexagon head wants to act like he wasn't involved in this phone hacking scandal. Please. This is interesting that Elizabeth supported him. I feel like she was a good grandmother to him and that becomes deaf for some reason on loud ears to the UK press but it is true why would he bring his wife back here Megan is not safe in the UK 
Meghan is seen as a threat. I don't know why. The UK press print hateful articles on Meghan every single day, even simultaneously whilst they were asking everybody to be sympathetic to Kate Middleton when she announced her cancer diagnosis, or whatever the hell that was. They were still hating on Meghan. With everything that happened with Prince Harry's mother, Diana, and for the fact that she was way too long in that tunnel in Paris, and the fact that he was attending the funeral of his own mother as a child traumatized him and William, both of them. And therefore, they're both going to be protective of their wives in different ways. But for some reason, William's absence of Kate Middleton, William barely visiting her, William obviously not wanting her to be X, Y, Z, is praised as very supportive. But for some reason, Harry doing the same for Meghan is not. And that is where my frustration comes from. Both of them are brothers that were traumatized by their early mother's death in regards to what went on with the royal family. But tracked. When asked... Harry said, there is more than enough attention on me and my wife. Anyways, they pushed me way too far. It's still dangerous. And all it takes is one lone actor, one person who reads this stuff to act on what they have read and whether it's a knife or acid, whatever it is. And these are things that are of genuine concern of me. It's one of the reasons why I... Just imagine a person is afraid to go to his own home country. Because guess what? Y'all you, you, haven't been watching lots of stuff around here. I tell you, these people, the UK, they do attack people with acids. I've never seen those kind of stuff around here. Please, Americans, let's not learn that way of doing bad stuff to others. I see this thing happen, happening more often in the United Kingdom. They do attack people with acids. I saw a couple females who got, their, who got disfigured by those acids. Just imagine. That kind of country you want to step foot in when everybody hates you with the narrative being thrown by this one controlled by the media and that kingdom. I'm telling you all guys. It's one of the reasons why I will not bring my wife back to this country. Wow. Harry also blamed his fight against the press as central in destroying his relationship with his family. When asked about his family's choice, the press is the way that Harry has, he said. I think everything that's played out has shown people what the truth of the matter is. For me, the mission continues. Harry said, I wish we had many conversations before she passed. And this is very much something that she supported in regards to, you know, Queen Elizabeth. Interesting. She knew how much this meant to me. She's very much out there, going to see this through to the end without question. In a witness statement, he had claimed the late monarch had wanted the media mogul Rupert to apologize. Harry has bringing a case against M MGN over alleged un unlawful information gathering. So this is interesting. Um, as a trial found that 15 articles were the result of unlawful information gathering. And Pierce Morgan and his hexagon head wants to act like he wasn't involved in this phone hacking scandal. Please. This is interesting that Elizabeth supported him. I feel like she was a good grandmother to him and that becomes death for some reason on loud ears well but these people say that queen elizabeth wasn't supporting him apparently he did he was she was not even happy that they named their daughter after her i don't know how accurate all these are because i know these people sleep and dream lies that's what they do it's super sad to the UK press, but it is true. Why would he bring his wife back here? Megan is not safe in the UK. Megan is seen as a threat. I don't know why. The UK press print hateful articles on Megan every single day, even simultaneously, whilst they were asking everybody to be sympathetic to Kate Middleton when she announced her cancer diagnosis or whatever the hell that was. They were still hating on Meghan. With everything that happened with Prince Harry's mother, Diana, and for the fact that she was way too long in that tunnel in Paris, and the fact that he was attending the funeral of his own mother as a child, traumatized him and William, both of them. And therefore, they're both going to be protective of their wives in different ways. But for some reason, William's absence of Kate Middleton, William barely visiting her, William obviously not wanting her to be X, Y, Z, is praised as very supportive. But for some reason, Harry doing the same for Meghan is not. And that is where my frustration comes from. Both of them are brothers that were traumatized by their early mother's death in regards to what, what went on with the royal family. But William is praised for how he treats Kate. But Harry is not, when he's seen exactly what has happened with his mother. And he said that in- Well, Harry's wife has black in her. So why would a black person be protected? 
And tell me that's not racist. Call it what you want. Interview. Does Harry speak a lot? Yeah, to be honest with you guys, he does speak a lot. A lot more than William. They're both obviously very different. Not every sibling is going to be the same and deal with things differently. But I'm glad that he's taking this approach to protect Meghan Markle because Meghan is not safe in the UK. Absolutely, there are acid attacks that take place, knife attacks that take place. Even an assassination attempt, you never really know. Anything could happen, which is why she was waiting only at Heathrow to go through and not actually come into this country because she is so hated. Go where you are loved in this life. Life. Go where you are respected. Why will she return to the UK after how people here treated her, banished her, dragged her? Camilla's friends in the newspapers were saying that she should walk naked and have things thrown at her. This is how much the UK hate Meghan Markle. This is how much they hate her for no reason. She's done nothing wrong to anyone for this addiction of hate. It is absolutely... Well, what she done wrong? was being born from black mother can you believe that that's ridiculous 21st century baby you never chose who is gonna be your parent same as harry never chose to be born a prince same of all these people watching me here all the white brothers and sisters never chose to be born who they are being born in racist family for some of them but uh, for some reason, Megan has to be blamed for who she is. Make it make sense. Isn't that sad enough? Dragged her. Camilla's friends in the newspaper. So that guy was actually Camilla's friend, huh? Wow were saying that she should walk naked and have things thrown at her. This is how much the UK hate Meghan Markle. This is how much they hate her for no reason. She's done nothing wrong to anyone for this addiction of hate. It is absolutely insane. And that man who wrote that about her, he didn't even lose his job. Why would he? A white man writing about events? a black woman increpid disgusting derogatory comments like this that it's you're reading about your life. she's absolutely should not be coming back to this country and i'm glad that it's been confirmed by harry and i'm glad that he said this himself and yeah i'm glad that he confirmed his wife is not gonna go there megan i already told you do not go there these people don't like you. You do not want to lose your life. You still have your little tiny babies. They need to grow up and have you there. You're not missing anything. You were not born in that country. You were born in this beautiful, wonderful country of the United States of America. And God bless America. You have nothing to lose. You have nothing to even miss in that country. Them people don't like you. Period. You're not going there. Done deal. All right, my people, please subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Isabella Banks' channel, or subscribe to all the sex-friendly channels. I'm going to stop this video here. I'll come back with some more juicy stuff when I get some. You know, it's a weekend. Everybody's kind of, uh, the, the, the social media is kind of boring. The yeah, only thing we see in around here is politics. But guess what? Because I tell you, the politics controls our lives. That's why we're going to mind that politics seriously nowadays here and get everyone around us motivated. We need to donate. We need to volunteer. We need to do everything for this Kamala Harris's campaign out here. Uh, lots of stuff might change when she becomes president. You know, so uh, I'm going to talk to you all guys. Remember Isabella Beck's mission uh, to take all this racist matter with uh, uh, to to the international uh, amnesty international and uh, human right watch we need to stop this racism we can't continue like that i mean seriously people with the lies with the hate i don't believe this will really last that long in this united states of america but you know uk has different rules with racism and the racism is accepted it's accepted in that in that country i don't believe racism is even punishable in that country because according to what murad morelli was saying here the guy who said all those uh, um 
uh, stuff being thrown on Meghan Markle at Meghan Markle when she was walking on the street with uh, no clothing on and stuff like that. I don't believe that kind of person who is still on uh, American media around here. Yeah, we have our races. Don't get me wrong. But this level of racism, bro. Yeah, that's a MAGA level racism. <laughs> Y'all ain't going to fly around here. Not at all. Okay, guys. I'll talk to y'all guys again a little bit later. Let me see what I got here. I'm off today. <laughs> That's why I'm, I was just going around collecting all the videos. And you know what? Ernie Cool told me like he did not want to see the, the, the guy, the Dan Witten face <laughs> on those videos there. One of them TikTok videos that I posted. I just had to take it off. You know, that Ernie Cool is my boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't want to see that dude's face. He's like, that guy just makes me like I want to puke. And you know, Apache said, what well, Apache said, bye, boy. <laughs> Them guys just don't like that guy. <laughs> I love you all guys. I'll talk to you all guys again tomorrow. Um, maybe later because I'm still around here looking for news. <laughs> uh.